Hello everyone, Helen here with Helen Loves to Create, bringing to you a project share for Double Click Connect and her theme was fall um, for the month of October and I've wanted to participate and I've been working on this project a little bit by a little bit all month long and still upload it a little bit late but anyways um if i'm included great and if i'm not it's okay i think i might just swing over there and pick up some dew drops myself um anyhow um i want to show you everything that i used um i used of course scissors <laughs> um and then we have also um hot glue and a hot glue gun I also used um, a fuse tool and this little piece on it. Of course, we also have our um, glitter glue. Um, also used this ribbon. Um, I used these two hole punches. Um, I also used these cookie cutters from Dollar Tree, um, also used um, the Ground Espresso, Wild Honey, and the Aged Mahogany uh, Distressed Inks from Ranger, um, of course the little tools for that, I also used sequins. Um, these are some little mixes that I had as green and gold and orange and um, darker and, and like yellowy orange. Um, and then I also threw in some red ones. I just don't have them here with me. I also have the um, archival, arch, <laughs> archival ink. Um, I used a few of these stamps here from the Prima collection. I used um, a couple of these stamped as well from the um uh, close to my heart collection um and then i used one of my um, vellum envelopes i also used some um these are score Swaborski, I always can't say that. Swaborski, um, hot, uh, hot, I believe they're called hot fix. And I have them in this, like, burnt orange, this yellow one here, this green one here. And that's the ones, the three that I used. But I have, you know, a good little collection of different sizes and stuff. But, anyways, so I used those. I had to bring out some of my good stuff <laughs> um i also used a couple of my magazine uh, cutouts um i've gotten magazines from libraries for free and i just cut out images that i like and um i also used some papers from the um packet that i purchased from tina um from tina's crazy crafty Life, I don't know how she says it. It's, <laughs> I always get it mixed up. But um, I use some of the papers and some of the things from here. Um, I also used some of these Mulberry Street homemade paper flowers. Um, I used a few of these napkins. I'm trying to use up my napkin stash. Um, I used some more of the uh, little cutouts from this paper pad. I used a few of these little strips, um, border stickers, and some specialty paper that I picked up recently. Um, so I got some different colors here, and then some other white paper, and yeah. So <laughs> let me show you what I created. I created this little fall journal. Um, and oh, I forgot to mention, <laughs> of course, the most important part, this material, it's super thin. It's like a hanky material or like maybe a thin, I don't know, a thin blouse maybe, but I got this material and I don't remember from who or from where, but um, I thought it was very fall 
like so okay <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something all right so this is what I created and with the fuse tool and the cookie cutters I created the leaves um, some shaker leaves that added to it and then you see my little flowers there my little Swarovski <laughs> gems um, and that's just and this is not permanent um because i want to do more to the pages but um yeah let's get into it so right inside um the first thing you see is a little tuck spot there um and this is just a little tag that i used with the um special paper and the napkin and some little gems there from the Swar swarovski <laughs> um and then here is the um, envelope that I cut up. Um, I cut the little section there to make it so it'd be at both, on both sides. And then I also made more um, little uh, fall leaves. This is, the napkin is on this one as well. And then some on this one as well. So this just like to put around, to put more in different places. So. And then here's some of the um, little pieces from cutouts from magazines. And here's how I use the two hole punches and the Prima stamp there. And then the, there's a napkin that I put on the outside of this envelope here. And here you can see these stamps I used. And then another little flower there. And then here's some of the cutouts um, and I actually didn't layer them um, and using the whole thing um, because I actually hole punched <laughs> all the these three and just kept that one there so that would be cute to use the rest of it um, so yeah, and then just some more paper. Here's some more little gems and another little cutout from um, magazines there. And here's one of those pieces from the butterflies and then specialty paper here. And then this is the envelope and it's got some little papers from the packet I got from Tina. Some of these papers are from the packet from Tina as well. And then here, um, some more magazine cutouts that I thought went well with Paul. Um, here's some more of that stickers and the little gems there. Again, some more of the specialty papers. Um, oh, this one moved. It was supposed to be straight over here. That's fine. Um, that's just the middle and that's just bound um, very loosely. And then... We have the other side of the bag there. Again, another specialty paper with a butterfly um, punch there. Some more little paper um, from that. And then the end. Here's the other part of that other, um, that same envelope. And again, that's the napkin on there. It looks really cute and I love the feel of that. Um, and then in this one here is some more little, um, some more little oh, magazine cutouts and um, some more other Prima stamped ones already made to use um, another little butterfly there. So it's just little pieces there. And the only thing I didn't do is put my name on it yet that I made it. Um, but yeah, here's, um, and that's it right there. So, um, thank you so much for, um, watching. Please go check out everyone else who created for the, um, for, um, the month of October for fall, um, or Halloween. Um, I don't celebrate Halloween, <laughs> so that's why I did a fall one. Anyways, um, I hope that you are enjoying your uh, 
your night, morning, day, whatever time it is. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out um, Double Click Connect's channel. She does a monthly little challenge and uh, shares her dewdrops. She also sells dewdrops, and they're very cute. Um, so she has a lot of different colors and um yeah anyways thank you so much for um having this little challenge um to create something for the month and i hope you all have a blessed night god bless y'all bye